Hi, my name is Jessica and I work here at Celestron as a product tester. Today I'll be demonstrating how to set up our Nexstar SE series. Before we begin, I want to discuss the three most common types of telescopes. The first type of telescope, the one we most commonly think of when we think of telescopes, is the refractor. The refractor uses a lens and is used for bright planetary objects such as planets, the sun, or even our moon. It can also be used for terrestrial observing. The next type is a reflector, which uses two mirrors, first a primary mirror and a secondary 45 degree angle mirror. And that is used for faint deep sky objects because it has a greater light gathering ability. But today we will be demonstrating the 8 inch SE, which is a Schmidt Cassegrain, combines the bulk of best worlds, the refractors, and the reflector. So now we'll begin setting up the tripod. First, we want to adjust the knobs, loosen them to the right. And we're going to extend the legs and then make sure that the knobs are fully tightened. We're going to do this procedure with all three legs. I'm trying to make them as even as I can so that everything is level. And we're going to make sure that the legs are fully extended. We're going to just tug on each one a little bit so that nothing falls over. And then we're going to take our handy bubble level and make sure that our tripod is low, which in this case it is not. So I'm going to adjust the legs a little bit, goes a long way, and we want to just get it generally inside the black circle. So now that the bubble is inside the circle, I'm going to attach our accessory tray. The three legs right here, we're going to make sure are aligned with the le tripod legs. We're going to slide it through, and we're going to attach our washer to the top. And then we're going to screw this onto the bottom, our knob. Not too tight though. Okay. Then I'm going to insert all my accessories for easy access. And my star pointer, just sit right here. Now I will demonstrate how to set up the optical tube. First, we're going to locate all the three feet and we're going to try to align them up here as best we can. So I'm going to gently lift this up. It's not that heavy. You're going to align them. I'm going to wiggle it around. Oh, got it right on. Then we're going to come down here. We're going to tighten all the knobs to make sure that this doesn't move in place. Last one. And now that all the knobs are securely fastened, we're going to attach our star pointer. We're going to take the bigger end and we're going to loosen up our screws, which I've already done. And we're going to slide it right on and take the screwdriver and just tighten the screws. Okay, next we're gonna attach our 90 degree diagonal. We're gonna use the metal part and we're gonna loosen the knobs, put it all the way in, and then tighten the set screws all the way. And last, we're gonna attach our 25 millimeter eyepiece and do the same thing, tighten the knob, and we're ready to begin alignment. So now that our telescope is completely assembled, we need a power source. We can either use eight AA batteries user supplied that you'd insert into the battery compartment, or you can purchase a power tank 17, which basically uses a cigarette lighter. So you plug that in, and then you make sure that the cord is plugged in right here below the hand control, is use that, and then you power your telescope on. But before we begin observing, there's one important thing. We need to align our telescope for accurate observing. So we take our 40,000 plus database hand control and we use our revolutionary skyline and we can use any three bright objects in the sky, including any bright stars, planets, or even the moon. See, I see the moon out there. I was salute to the moon, make sure it's centered in our star pointer, hit enter, and then align. And I will do that two more times, making a total of three times. If your alignment was successful, it'll let you know. After you're done, if you don't know anything about the stars or the universe, you can press tour and it'll give you tonight's highlights for your exact date, time, and location, listing things only you can see. After that, if you know what you want to see, you click planet, say I want to see Jupiter, Jupiter's up there, go down to Jupiter, hit enter, and it will automatically salute to your object. And if you want to know a little bit more about Jupiter, you can press info, and it'll give you all kinds of educational and fun information, fun facts, whatever, it's as easy as that. So if you're looking for something fun and easy and you don't want to waste your time anymore trying to find objects, use our computerized mounts and save your time. Start 
observing. Next year, starting in 2009, is the International Year of Astronomy, making our telescope the perfect tool for you and your family's fun educational journey to the stars and beyond.